Now at this point, I'm super excited to introduce Mitchell Hashimoto, uh, who's gonna be giving us more updates from here. Thanks so much, Armand. It's not the same not being able to shake your hand on a HashiConf stage, but I am very excited to be able to do this HashiConf digital event with you. Uh, it allows us to have so many more people join the event, so thank you and welcome everyone uh, to this event. And following up on Armand's really exciting product announcements, I want to talk about uh, something slightly related uh, about our efforts in cloud. So this is probably not news to anyone in this audience, but cloud delivery is the future and is increasingly uh, more widespread among companies around the world. As companies uh, have learned, adopting software as a service models of software has enabled them to increase their velocity, lower overhead, and reduce downtime. They don't have to worry about how to run the software, how to train staff or hire staff to run that software, and they could really focus on building their applications directly against pieces of software right away. And as cloud adoption has increased, we at HashiCorp have been getting more and more requests for our software to approach a SaaS-like model and a cloud delivery model. Early on when we built our software, our software manages core infrastructure. We do core service networking, secrets management, infrastructure creation, much, much more. And this sort of software was stuff that people wanted to run on their own. But as the years have gone on, more and more folks have wanted this in a cloud delivery solution. So over the past couple of years, we've talked more and more about cloud, and I want to review what we've been doing in that space first. Starting a little bit over a year ago, we started talking about Terraform Cloud. Terraform Cloud is our software as a service for Terraform that runs Terraform for you on a hosted platform, lets you link it up to your version control systems, work with teams, apply policy, and do much, much more. And since we've announced that, it has grown tremendously. We're seeing more than 5,000 user, new users per month, and that number is, is trending upwards. Those users are managing over 2 million infrastructure resources in total. That is a lot of networks and instances and databases and so on. It's a lot of infrastructure. To make those, those resources, there are over 500,000 Terraform runs per month. That's a lot of Terraform runs. And that is also going up pretty rapidly on a month-by-month -month basis. So we're running Terraform a lot for people, managing a lot of resources, and this growth is showing us that people are really excited about this model of using Terraform. At HashiConf last year, we announced another service, the HashiCorp Console Service on Azure, or HCS. This is a service that lets users and customers spin up a managed console cluster directly in their Azure subscription. This was done in partnership with Microsoft, and so you could go directly into that Microsoft Azure portal, find HCS, add a console cluster to your subscription, and it spins up, shows up on your bill directly from Microsoft, and you could see the resources directly in your account that are being used. We've also expanded this to integrate directly with things like AKS or other Azure native services so that you could use console directly right away if you're an Azure customer. We announced this in private beta last year at HashiConf, and since then, in April, we've, we've expanded that to a public beta. And in the time between the private and public beta, we addressed a lot of feedback that the beta users were giving us, and we focused much more on security and that initial secure experience. So HCS and, and the console clusters managed by HCS are now secure by default. This means that there's no externally routable IP addresses when you create a cluster, the, the ACLs are bootstrapped, and so right away your cluster has ACLs by default, and you could configure all the CIDR ranges of who can talk to that console cluster. We've also automated the peering setup, so you could peer HCS directly with your other VNets within your subscription, and that gives you access to Kubernetes services, VMs, databases, and more. All of this in HCS is available in a public beta. If you want to go give it a shot with your Azure account, you could use this URL right here. And our, our beta users have been very excited by HCS. Here's a quote from one of our beta users who provided some excellent feedback to us and showing how their big console users and having a managed console service is letting them adopt it more quickly and with more confidence. So what's next? 
We've, we're really excited to see the growth that we've seen with Terraform Cloud and HCS on Azure. Uh, but as we've rolled out more and more cloud services, our community and our customers have gotten more excited at the prospect of more HashiCorp software being a cloud solution. And so they've been asking us to invest more in, in cloud services and provide more of our software as a cloud service. And so since for the past couple of years, we have been working on that. And today, I'm very excited to announce the HashiCorp Cloud Platform. The HashiCorp Cloud Platform, or HCP, is a fully managed platform to automate infrastructure on any cloud using HashiCorp tools. This enables users of HashiCorp tools to focus on building their applications rather than running HashiCorp software. The vision for this is really threefold. One, we want to provide push button deployment for all our software. That means we want you to be able to push a button, get a console cluster, and focus on integrating your applications rather than operating console. Second, it's fully managed infrastructure. You don't need to provide VMs, or you don't need to provide an account, or any of that. You ask for something like a console cluster, and we manage that infrastructure for you. And then finally, we want to provide one multi-cloud workflow. And what I mean by this is, is two things. One, we want to be able to provide our software to be installed in different cloud platforms. So you could install console in Azure. You can install console in AWS. That's the vision for this product. But in addition to that, we want to be able to bridge those together by networking them, making all the configuration work, et cetera. So you could actually have a global cluster of console, for example, across multiple clouds. Going a little bit into detail and showing examples of each of these, for the push button deployment, here's a screenshot of the real HashiCorp Cloud Platform portal. In this portal, we're showing the step to create a console cluster. And as you can see, you enter a name, you select a network, you hit create, and in the next step, you would have a console cluster. And this is really push button deployment. You push that one button, you get a cluster. Next is fully managed infrastructure. We manage that infrastructure, and so you don't have to worry about, is it up, is it down? Our teams are on call for that. Our teams are patching uh, security patches onto that hardware and infrastructure, and we are doing our best to ensure that stays up and running. And then finally, the multi-cloud workflow. And so the way we are, we're showing this is another screenshot of the HashiCorp Cloud Platform portal. In this case, we're creating a HashiCorp virtual network. A virtual network is something that maps to a network in a cloud provider, but by making it a first class concept within HCP, we're able to manage things like peering across cloud providers, uh, security across cloud providers, and just general connectivity. So if you launch a cluster in one cloud provider and then another cluster in another, we'll be able to bridge those together and provide you with global infrastructure. And today, I'm excited to announce that the HCP console service on AWS is available in private beta you could request access at the URL on the slide. This is a really big vision we have for HCP, and we're excited to ship the HCP console service on AWS, but we're gonna continue to ship services incrementally on this to provide more and more of our software towards that ultimate vision. And so I'm also excited to say that later this year, we will be bringing HCP Vault onto AWS as well. And so just to reiterate, our vision for HCP is really the vision for the company, which is to bridge multi-cloud infrastructure and make it all work seamlessly together. To do that with HCP, we're providing a push button experience on fully managed hardware, fully managed infrastructure, and having one workflow to manage that across multiple cloud providers. To tie this all together, I wanna just repeat what our portfolio looks like now. On the left here, we have our software, our open source software and enterprise software that is customer managed. This is the software we've had for years and that you all know and love. From Terraform, Vault, Console, and more, this is software you could download online, run in your own data centers, and use as you always have. Today, we announced our new first party cloud service, HashiCorp Cloud Platform. This joins Terraform Cloud as a first party cloud service solution that HashiCorp offers to deliver our software. And then last year, we announced the console service on Azure, which is more of a third-party solution since you, since you adopt it directly through the Microsoft Azure portal, but we still manage the software, the infrastructure, and provide that full experience for you. But looking back at HashiCorp Cloud Platform, I wanna bring someone on 
to show you exactly what using Hashicorp Cloud Platform is like. And there's no better person to do that than someone directly from the HCP team. I'd like to invite on Matthew Irish, software engineer on the HCP Experiences team. Thanks, Mitchell, and welcome everyone to HashiConf Digital 2020. I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Matthew Irish, and I'm a software engineer working on the HashiCorp Cloud Platform, or HCP for short. Today, I wanted to give you a little preview of the platform and the first product we're offering on the platform, HCP Console, which is available in beta starting today. So let's say that your organization is starting a cloud migration and you're moving more applications to the cloud. You're going to need a way for those applications to secu securely communicate to each other, no matter where they're running, whether that's on, in containers on Nomad or Kubernetes, in a VM environment like EC2, or even on-prem. With HCP Console, you can deploy production-ready console clusters securely and easily. And with HCP Console, you can also focus on building your applications and using the features that Console provides rather than running Console. So let's take a look at the HashiCorp Cloud Platform. All that you need to get started is a GitHub account. So we'll go ahead and sign in here. And then once you're logged in, we're going to walk you through the steps that you need to get started. But I'm going to do that for you today. So the first one is we need to create a HashiCorp virtual network. And then once that's done, we can deploy our first console cluster onto that network. And then finally, we'll need to create a peering connection to that HashiCorp virtual network so that you can communicate externally to the, the cluster running in the HVN. Let's go ahead and start by creating that HashiCorp virtual network. So we'll go here and click Create. And on the form, we've already defaulted the name, the cloud provider in the region for you, as well as the CIDR block. We're going to keep those defaults for this demo, but feel free to edit those. Now, the HashiCorp virtual network is a network abstraction in HCP. So anything that you deploy in HCP will be done so on a HashiCorp virtual network. We're starting with just AWS and US West 2 as the cloud provider and region, but we'll be expanding those over time. You can see we're done here. And now this is deployed on AWS and US West 2, as we said before, and we get the CIDR block details as well. But now that that's done, we can go ahead and deploy our first console cluster. We do that by clicking Create. And then, again, we've defaulted the name here, as well as the HVN. And this HVN is the one we just created. We now have a fully managed console cluster. As you can see here, there's the details of the cluster. Uh, we have three servers in this cluster, and it's running on the HVN that we just created. And there's also a spot here to download the config if you want to run an agent or if you need an ACL token. Now, what we also did on the break was we created a peering connection, which is the final step that you need. So we'll go here and see that this is the peering connection we created. And what that does is it sets up a connection between an external network, in this case an AWS VPC, and the HVN that we've deployed in HashiCorp Cloud Platform. So I actually also have a Bastion host in that VPC. So we'll switch over to that. And I'm inside the Bastion host here. And below, you can see that we're running console members. And above, I've downloaded that client config that we talked about before. So we're going to start a console agent. And as we do that, you'll see the members of the console cluster pop in below. So there we go. And now you can see that we have three servers, again, in the HVN. And this, you can see that the servers that are deployed are in the CIDR block that matches the HVN as well. So that's how easy it is to get started with HCP console. And we have a fully managed, production-ready console cluster. Thanks again, and be sure to visit our landing page to find out more or request access. Back to you, Mitchell. Thank you so much, Matthew. HCP is so exciting, and I can't wait to see that in the hands of everybody.